This conference will now be recorded. So we have worked on OBJ Browse. What is the use of OBJ Browse? Am I audible? To fetch multiple Everyone. records. To fetch multiple records on the table. When I say multiple, it can be zero or n, anything. Now, OBJ save. This is the next method that we are going to discuss with. So OBJ save method, what is the purpose? Uh, to insert or update the table. To insert or update. update. Okay, so this is what ARPC is going to do, either insert or update. See, when you are using OBJ save method, let me go ahead and tell you. So here you go to data types. Let me take one of the table, let's say countries table. When you go to countries table, see here, I want to write an activity using the activity. I wanted to insert one record into this table. Then which method I have to use in the activity? OBJ save method. So let me show you the activity just for testing purpose, one activity, any activity I can open. So when this activity is going to get executed, you want it to store the data into some table. It can be any table. Okay. In our case, I'm going to tell you about the table related to countries. The class is Bajaj data countries. I will tell you the steps. Let me show you the method OBJ save method. See, when you when you look at OBJ browse method, this method is accepting a class name, OBJ class. You need to mention a class name here. Can someone tell me what is the class name here? Which class you will provide generally? In generic, you can tell me. Not the class name, generically. What is the class that we need to choose in the OBJ class when we are using OBJ browse? Uh, data class. Data class. Data class, okay. So that is the class of the table from which we wanted to fetch the records. Is that correct? Everyone clear yes. with that? Okay. Now, OBS here, when you see, you don't have any such parameter of asking the class name. Now, how an OBJ save method knows into which table it has to store the data? Okay. For that, you need to provide a step page here. So if you have a page, page refers to your class, right? So before you use the step page here, go to pages and classes, that page, it can be any name, it's up to you. Table related page. Suppose I wanted to store the data or update the data or insert the data into countries. Then first I have to define a page for page referring to countries class. That is a target table. So to, to the target table class, you have to define a page here. Page name can be anything, make it something meaningful. Come back here. Before you use OBJ save, you make sure that this page is created on the clipboard. This page is created by using page name. Done. Next, what you are going to do? You have to get the data onto this page. Create table page and then it can be any method. It's not only property set. It can be any method, just as a skeleton, I'm writing all the steps here. So next, what you are doing, first you are creating page. Next, you are going to assign data, or you say, place the data onto table page. That you are doing. After that, what you will do? OBJ, save. Here you need to choose table page. So now it stores the data into table page. This is clear, everyone. This is just a basic template. There can be n number of steps in between, and there can be n number of steps after this as per your requirement. So if you are using RTL, if you want to work with OBJ save method, then you have to go ahead and make sure define a page to the target table class. That is the first thing. You define a page for target table class. After you define the page for target table class, you make sure that you are going to place some data onto the target table page and create and then place the data and then finally save that while saving while using OBJ save step page should be the target table page. Now the data of this page will get stored into countries table. So how at runtime 
can someone please tell me how does the process command is going to exactly identify the physical table how it is going to identify the physical table because the page By is page, created on the class yeah, page referring to table class after that so from the table class how it will identify the physical table name Mm. Last data mappings. So mapping so there will be a mapping table class and actual physical table by database table rule. It is going to identify the mapping and find the physical table and then stores. So when OBJ save method is executed, it will generate either insert query or update query. So process commander will come to know whether to generate an insert query or update query. How it come? How it will come to know? Let's say. Your table page has data. What is that? Country code is equal to IND and country name. Is equal to India. This is the data on the table page. When you do OBJ save. And then step page is table page while inserting before inserting. It is going to see the country code which is available on this table with a value of IND. Is it already there in the table? It is already there. Then it is going to generate update query. If the country code that it is that you are trying to save is not there in the table for the key column, then it will generate insert query. Everyone clear with this? Are you clear, or everyone? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now here you go with. See, in the OBS save, there are multiple options which I will explain you later. One of the option you should be by looking at the option label, you should be able to answer this. If I select this option by default, it is not selected. Then tell me how it works. Only if new. That is the option label. OBS save only if new. What does that mean? Insert record insert is not present before. Insert the new records only. This method is going to work only as insert command. Already recording there with the key property. Then what will happen? Update. 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 If I select, if you do not select this, it will work as update. If you select this, yeah, it, it will not update. It will ignore by ignore generating the query and proceed with the next step. This is clear, everyone. That's how by labels itself you'll be able to understand the technical aspects generally. So remaining options I'll tell you later. This is about OBJ save method. Okay. So we are going to work on OBJ save method in the activity with a small business requirement.